Hey guys, welcome back. Look at this deliciousness. I just made a huge salad. I just made this huge salad. So there is romaine lettuce, flavor bomb, grape tomatoes that I sliced up, cucumber, a hard boiled egg, bacon bits, croutons, ranch, mozzarella cheese, banana peppers, and a barbecue chicken breast I made the other day. Diced up on top. Oh my gosh. Look how amazing. Mm. Yummy. So good. So good. I oven bake my uh, chicken in the open pit barbecue sauce. Look at that. So good. So good. Sorry if you hear the air conditioning running. It's like 90 degrees today. Like, I may not be perfect at anything in life, but I think my salads are. <laughs> I think they are perfection. It's so good. How is everybody's week going? Today is Wednesday. Hump day. Are those camel commercials still on? What are they even for? Are well, the camels says hump day? What the hell? What is that commercial for? I don't know when the heck I would have seen it last, like a long time ago. Let me know, is that commercial salon? Do you remember if it's not? I should have brought my tripod out here. I'm so hungry. I thought it was like 3, 3.30 and I looked at my clock and it's like 12.30. <laughs> That's how my day has been going. The girls had a dentist appointment today. When I made it, I don't know what I was thinking, <laughs> accepting a 7.40 a.m. appointment. Alex has never been to the dentist 
never had anybody check like anything with her teeth or anything. She just turned three. And the dentist office said they don't usually recommend it till they're three. Adri has had her teeth cleaned. So for the past two days, Alex has been so excited to go to the dentist. Like Peppa Pig and George. <laughs> and get her teeth clean. Blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> Last night before bed, I asked her, I said, what are you going to dream about tonight? Because I ask her every night. Or pretty much every night, unless it's really crazy. And she said, I dream about dentist. <laughs> Usually she says mom first. Uh-uh. She's going to dream about the dentist. It was kind of a late night. I had to go get Adri, um, cause she had spent the night at my mom's, but I didn't hear from them till like 7.15 and they said they were going to, um, go for a bike ride quick. But then my stepdad called me and to take him to his old house to drop off his car cause he's in the middle of moving. So he's got things and vehicles at two houses. So I went to do that, got him, took him to his uh, new house. <clears throat> went and picked up Adrian, sat there and talked for like a while. Got home, made the kids tacos. I'd already made the taco meat. They were up crazy, got them to bed. And they remembered I had paperwork to fill out this dentist. It was our first time at this dentist. So I opened the envelope. It's like four, five, six pages of crap. So I'm like filling out paperwork. I don't know why I waited until the last minute. <laughs> so I do all that, get it all done. At like 1.45, I finally got done. So I get to bed like 2 in the morning. I haven't been sleeping very good lately. I toss and turn. I'm hot. I'm cold. The baby wakes up. I get hard to sleep. So I'm sound asleep, right? I'm dreaming away. Off in Never Never Land. I hear Alex's bedroom door. Well, I wasn't sure if it was that or if it was Adri coming downstairs to go to the bathroom. In walks Allie. It's dark. In walks Allie. She says, Mommy, Mommy, I go, Dennis? So I roll over and grab my phone. It was 4.30 in the freaking morning. I'm like, Allie, but it's still nighttime. It's still dark outside. We're not going to the dentist right now. I'm like, you have to go back to sleep. She starts talking, so Jackson starts moving around in his bed. I'm like, Allie, you gotta be quiet. Don't wake up Jax. She just cribs in my bed, or my bedroom. I get her back in her room. She says, I, I peed in my bed. I'm like, what? And I feel her bed. Her bed's not wet. I feel her diaper. Her diaper's not, diaper's not leaked. It was full, like kind of full, but it wasn't wet. Like it hadn't leaked. I'm like, lay down on your floor. I'll go get a diaper and change you. Change her, get her back in bed. I go lay in bed and then I start hearing her yelling, Mom, Mommy, I need a drink. It's like, oh my God, are you kidding me? I get back up, come out, find the cup, get her a drink, which I get her like a, a literally like this much juice, well, maybe this much juice in a cup. I'm going fill up the rest of the water. So I hear one eye open, pouring the juice in, getting a jug of water, adding water. Go ahead, I'm like, here, just keep your cup in your bed. <laughs> I was just too tired. So I go to sleep. Get back to sleep around 5. From 5 until 6.45, Jackson woke up four different times. 
Like, what is going on? You guys have been sleeping fine through the night for months. Like, nobody, nobody has had any issues of sleeping. Like, Jax will wake up and kind of cry. So I just hurry up and get up and go give him his pacifier. So he doesn't wake up all the way. So he doesn't wake up Alex. My alarm goes off. I snooze it a couple of times. So we're kind of running late. I run up and get Adria. Tell her to get dressed and come downstairs and eat some uh, muffins. While I'm up there getting her, here comes Allie. She got up on her own. So she comes walking upstairs. I'm like, we gotta hurry up and go downstairs. I said, we gotta get dressed. I said, we gotta eat some muffins real quick and then brush your teeth so we can go to the dentist. Like, we had 12 minutes till we had to leave to not be late. Get to the dentist. Allie's still so excited, so excited. She hasn't, since this whole COVID thing, she has not been out. She hasn't been in a store. She hasn't seen anybody in masks or any of that stuff. We're in the lobby. No. I go in and drop off the paperwork. They had to wait in the car. And then when they said when they were ready, they'd let me know so I could bring them in. But there was nobody else there because it was 740 in the morning. They said, okay, we're ready. You can go ahead and go out and get them and bring them in. Bring them in. Allie's looking around. The animals painted on the walls. She's dancing. She's so excited. And Adri's nervous. Because she says the last time she got stuff that they put on her teeth, it tasted like pickles. And she wasn't a fan of it. I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> um, so anyway, we're in the lobby. Lady opens the door. That's all she wrote. She had on a mask. She had on a shield. She had on the whole paper gown thing. Allie was done. She checked out. She grabbed my hand and like squeezed my hand like tighter than she's ever squeezed my hand. We go walking back. Adrian starts crying because at her last um thing, they had a teeth cleaning thing at school. And they put on this paper that they thought she had cavities. So Adrian's crying. I'm like, why are you crying? She said, because I don't want them to tell me I have a cavity. I said, well, even if you do, they're not going to do anything today. I said, we have never been to this dentist before. They're going to take x-rays. They're going to, you know, clean your teeth, check your teeth, all that stuff. I said, they're not going to do anything today. Allie's freaking out. Mom, no, go home. Mom, no, go home. It's like, no, Allie. I'm like, Adri, you go in this room. I'm like, it's okay. Don't cry. You go in this room. Allie's going to go in this room. I'll be back and forth between the two rooms. They normally don't let uh, parents back there, but since it was their first time there, they let me. So Adrian, I'm like, wipe your tears, you're fine. They're not gonna do anything today. They're just gonna check your teeth and clean your teeth. Take Allie into her room, try to set her on the chair. All hell breaks loose. That kid went ballistic, kicking, screaming, flinging her arms around. It's like, oh my God. Like, I'm like, you know, I said, she hasn't even seen anybody in these masks or gowns or shields. I said, so the only thing she knows of people wearing masks and gowns is the few times she's been to the ER in her life. And she's ended up getting IVs and being pinned down. And it's been horrible, like horrible, horrific experience for her. So I'm trying to calm her down. I'm having her watch the TV, Paw Patrol's on. The dental hygienist is like, here, I have a princess mirror. And gives her like the little dental mirror. Allie grabs it. Still wasn't having it. Literally flinging herself out of that chair. I'm trying to get her situated. The nurse is trying to, or the hygienist is trying to help me. Allie flings herself sideways and flings her head back, hits her head on the side of the chair. It's like, I said, she's fine. I was like, you know, do I'm going to just leave her in here and walk out? She's like, well, she said, we'll just wait and see if she doesn't come around. Then we can just let the dentist look in her mouth. She said, I'm not going to try and hold her down and like put her through all this and have her be terrified next time she comes. I'm like, okay, whatever, whatever you recommend. Um, so we go over to Adri's room. And Adri's already in there getting x-rays of her teeth. So she was like, you guys can sit in here. So we sit in there and watch Adri get her teeth clean. And then said so she's eight. She got more x-rays of like her skull, like the teeth that are like, out, like they're still coming in or whatever. I forget what it's called. So they do that and then they check her teeth and take notes and they brush her teeth and then she asks if it's okay if I put a fluoride rinse in her teeth and Adri started crying. She thought that was the thing that tasted like pickles that they did at school. 
and um because they had like dental people come to her school i don't know so we do all that she's good to go we're waiting on the dentist i told alice and you know i said if you i said you just watch adri i said if you go over there in your room and sit in your chair and be a big girl i'm so tired i said be a big girl i said mommy will buy you play-doh no, no, mom, no Play Doh. Like, she. <laughs> Play Doh wasn't even getting this kid to try it again. Wasn't happening. So. She said, that's okay. You know, we can try it again at her next appointment. You know, see if you can let her let you look in her mouth so she's kind of familiar with it. Like, over the next six months. So, Dennis comes in, goes over Adri's x rays and everything. She has the same problem I had as a kid. where she has her adult teeth that are coming in, but there's just no room for them. They're not even coming in. I think two of them, her eye teeth. Well, she was showing them the x-ray. And she said, you see where these teeth are coming in? She said, they're in the right path of where they're supposed to go. Cause Adri's only lost like her top four, top or bottom four, like the, just the front teeth. I said, yeah, I said, are those teeth right there? I said, is that her eye teeth? And she's like, yeah. She said, they're not even following the right path of where they need to go. I said, I had that same problem. I said. In high school, I had to get braces. Was it my freshman year? I had to get braces, but they had to get they had to get rid of. Let's see, they pulled four and cut out three teeth. They had to remove seven teeth because my jaw's not big enough to hold my teeth, so all my teeth were just so cramped together. So they had to remove seven. I think it was seven teeth before they could even do braces and spacers and all that. And she said that sounds like what's going to happen with her. She said usually. Um, Kids, I don't send kids to the orthodontist till they're like 11 or 12. She said, but she's going to have to go probably in the next year or so so they can figure out what they're going to do with her teeth. And I told her, I said, I help Adri like try to floss her back teeth. I said, I cannot get dental floss between her back teeth. She said, I couldn't either. She said, excuse me, her teeth are so tight in there. You cannot floss her back teeth. And that's where she has a couple cavities in her back teeth, like between her teeth. So she told me just, you know, do what I can. <clears throat> As far as helping her floss her teeth, and as far as the back, just make sure she brushes back there, and make sure she flosses what she can, even if she can get the floss like down in there, just the tiniest bit, and use like a fluoride rinse to strengthen her teeth. Yeah, they're so tight together. Like her one tooth down here is starting to turn a little bit. It's like her 10 year molars, you could see those in the x ray plain as day, working their way in, and even her 12 year molar, you could see it back in the back. Like, what the heck? She just turned eight a couple months ago. So, oh, I keep thinking I hear it. I don't know. It's windy. It's going to storm. Jay has the kids for today. But after no sleep, because he watched Jack's today, because I wasn't allowed to take any extra kids. I told him I said, I didn't get any sleep. It's been a heck of a day. Allie will go back in six months. Adria, I have to check around. Not check around. I have to check with who can watch her. I'm getting an appointment scheduled for her. She just have two appointments. Because they won't do both sides. So they'll do one side um, at one appointment and the other side at another appointment. So there's that. I get home. I'm like, can you, do you just want to take the kids for the day? Just, I just need a break. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. It's been a day. He's like, yeah, that's fine. So he leaves. I'm like, right, I'm going to run to the bank because I was parked behind him anyway. I'm like, I'm just going to run to the bank. Because I sold some candles on um, Facebook Marketplace. And she gave me a check for them. So I go to leave and my mom had texted me asking how the appointment was. So I'm like, crap, I'll just park out front. I don't talk on the phone when I drive. I don't text when I drive. So I parked out front. I was talking to my I called my mom to tell her what was going on. I was like, it's going to be $1,000 after insurance um, to take care of Adri's teeth. Like, dentists are so freaking expensive. I remember when I got a root canal years ago. Jeez, how much was it? It was ridiculous. Like $75 for the sedation because they're going to sedate her just because she's so terrified. I guess it's some liquid that she drinks, and then they'll use laughing gas also. I don't know. So, it's going to be like 
what is it, 800 and some, yeah, to get her teeth done. Um, so some mom, well, then while I'm talking to her, Jay calls like four times, like, what the hell does he want? It's like, I'm all right, mom. I'm like, Jay has called like four times since he left with the kids. I'm like, it hasn't even been an hour. So I answer the phone for him, or for hang with my mom and answer the phone. I was him wanting to know if I could go in and come in here and see if his heartburn medicine was in here somewhere. So I'm looking at her. I come in. I'm like, all right, I'll just look real quick before I go to the bank. So I come in. I'm at the door. set my keys down. I wear my lanyard thing. If you see my car eating videos, I always have my keys around my neck because I don't want to forget them. So I set my keys down. I'm looking all over for his heartburn medicine. Like, I don't know where the hell it is. He's like, all right. He's like, I'll just call the doctor and see if they can give me some more. So I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll talk to you later. Bye. I'm going to run to the bank. I'm tired. I lock the door, walk out, go get my car. I don't have my keys. I'm like, are you freaking serious? So I called him back. I'm like, just so you know, I just locked myself out of my house um, while I was in there looking for your medicine. He's like, what? He's like, are you serious? I said, yeah. I said, so I'm going to go check the front door because Allie had been at the front door and I was hoping it was unlocked. It wasn't. It was locked. So I'm going to look out back. I said, I did have the window open because I had the... Um, the lights, I have lights out back and I had them plugged in through the window because there's no outside outlet. I'm like, maybe if I'm lucky, I didn't take the lights out of the, the cord out of the window. So I come around and thankfully, thankfully I had uh, not locked the window. I put the lights back out, but I hadn't locked the window. So I climbed through this freaking window. I'm like, what I'm seeing out there, the window is in between my waist and my boobs. So it's not like a low window. I'm like, I'm 41 years old. Climbing through a freaking window. I've already had the longest day ever. I climb in the window, come in. I had set my keys down on the kitchen counter. So I put my keys back into my lanyard. Out the door I went. The bank's right by Dollar Tree, so I stopped at Dollar Tree. And here we are. He texts me saying that the doctor was able to just call him in another refill. He takes prescription heartburn medicine. He has really bad heartburn, acid reflux, all that crap. So now I'm eating a salad. Mmm. Banana pepper in that bite. The other day I cooked up a whole bunch of meat. My little ones have been Jackson's into everything. I came in here the other day to boil eggs, put my eggs in the saucepan, or whatever you call it, put the water in, turn the stove on, walk back out in the living room. I corner a lamp, it's like a lamp with um, it's like a table lamp. It has like three shelves on it. Tipped over in the middle of the room. It's like, what the heck? I didn't even hear it. I didn't even, like, I literally came in to start boil, to boil eggs and walk back in the other room. So the other day, I'm like, you know what? I have all this stuff to cook throughout the week. I'm just going to do it now. So I cooked up a pan of taco meat. I cooked up a pan of loose meat hamburger with, like, seasoned salt and garlic salt just for, like, cheeseburgers. Or whatever. I just put it in a paper plate and top it with cheese and melt it in the microwave and then it just goes right on your bun like it um, pretty much makes its own patty. I cut up some zucchini, cooked it on the stove. I baked, um, half, I bought a big family pack of chicken breast. I baked half of it in the oven with barbecue sauce. And the other half in a gallon size Ziploc bag with Italian dressing and put it in the fridge in the fridge downstairs. And then that evening when I made the hamburger meat and stuff, I went out and I put two two sirloin steaks on the grill. When I went to Sam, so I had steak. Oh, and the rest of that chicken with Italian dressing. Is that it? Yeah, so I had steak. I grilled steak. The Italian chicken. I baked barbecue chicken on the stove top. I did the zucchini, um, taco meat and hamburger meat. Yeah. So the last two days I've had salads with barbecue chicken in it. <clears throat> I 
the kids have had Italian chicken the last two days, like for lunch, with mac and cheese and with fruit and vegetables. We had a late lunch yesterday, and for dinner I just heated up some of that taco meat. Made me get, uh, made him eat a taco. Back before I had kids, like a million years ago, <clears throat> that bite of banana pepper went down the wrong pipe. Um, like every Sunday, I would get steak. I would grill like a T-bone steak, and I would grill chicken. I would grill um, hamburgers for the week. I'm good on Sunday, then Monday through Friday, I already had like decent food ready to pack my lunches for work. It was so much easier to stay on track, stay healthy. When my meals were like planned ahead and like prepped. Also on Sundays, I'd wash up my produce. I'd like slice up pineapple. Strawberries. Whatever veggies I wanted. It's a big salad. Yeah, when everything's prepped and ready, it's so much easier to throw together a salad or a meal. It's like, oh, you're hungry? Okay. Here's some already cut up fruit. Here's some already cut up veggies. I'll like, reheat some chicken. And there's a healthy meal right there. Literally within minutes. I've been back on like a huge fast food kick. <clears throat> and like every time I leave the house, and don't have the kids, I would stop and get fast food. I feel terrible. My joints are hurting. I've put on 10 pounds during this quarantine. So I got the quarantine 10 going on. I won't sleep worth the crap. So we're working on all that. Mm. I'm going put this like. Mm. my hand slide on the chair. <clears throat> so I've had a few of you ask me about why I got off keto, when I'm going back to it. I'm going back to it for sure. I've got a collection of keto snacks downstairs for what I want to snack and just things that um, I want to try out that are keto friendly. So I'm not wasting them now while I'm eating garbage food. I'm saving them for when I'm back on keto. But I also have A bunch of ASMR eating videos that aren't keto friendly. So I need to get those out of the way first. There's so many things I'm like in the process of taking care of, lining up, figure it out. So much has just been going on. This whole quarantine has been insane. So good. The last couple of days of eating at home has just been, it's like, it's delicious. Why do I not cook more? I 
anything I've made, it tastes way better than any fast food. I mean, occasionally I want Taco Bell, like Chipotle, or like a restaurant, but as far as the McDonald's, Burger King, Constant Taco Bell, kind of over it. I'm so tired, I'm so tired. Last night, when I looked at the clock, I'm like, it's almost 2 in the morning. I'm like, and I have to get up at like 6.30. And then Allie woke up, and then Jackson went there. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> it's okay. I got up. I got him to their appointment. I handled my business. I'm probably going to go to bed at 8 p.m., but... <laughs> working on my meal plan for like my first week of getting back on keto. I need to at least figure out like two weeks ahead of time so I can be ahead of the game. So windy. Oh my gosh. I see why people do juices. It's so much easier just to chug a glass of juice instead of eating all these veggies. <laughs> Lettuce? Cucumber? Tomato? Banana pepper. This is so good. It's pretty much a whole head of lettuce. Like I buy the six packs of romaine hearts. There's like a little bit left of the one heart. I have a whole romaine heart. A whole chicken breast. It's probably like four or five ounces. This is a pretty big chicken breast. Like eight tomatoes. Probably like this much of a cucumber. Like length of a cucumber. Chopped up. One whole egg. Like three forkfuls of banana peppers. Probably a quarter of a cup of cheese. Oh, I'm so tired. Every time I'm without kids, kids, wow, which isn't very often, I have this debate. Like, do I just use the time to make and eat a nice, good meal with no interruptions? Do I work on getting things done? Do I relax and hang out? Do I take a nap?
at the dentist today. They weighed Adri. Probably. I would, probably so it's on file for when she goes back to get her teeth filled and they have to sedate her. They know her weight. She was 61 pounds. She's so tall. She is so tall. My mom got all the kids the other day for the first time since before this whole COVID thing. And she used to get Adri, Carson, and Max like every single weekend they would spend the night. They have been over there. I thought I just talked about this the other day. Maybe when I ate my sub. Anyway, I probably already talked about this. But it was so cute when they first, when I took Adri and Allie over there, because mom was going to have Adri, Allie, Carson, Max, and Zayden, that their ages are two, three, five, eight, and eight. And when we got there, Carson came running up to Adri. They're 45 days apart. They've been like best friends since birth. Literally the best of friends. And he's like, Adri, look how big you got. <laughs> She's just so tall. So tall. So smart. So unbelievably smart. So beautiful. She gets a little mouthy sometimes and pushes my buttons, but she's definitely an awesome kid. Allie Bug, she's in these terrible threes. <laughs> Nothing phases her. You tap her butt, spank her butt, she turns around and laughs. I was just say, do it again. Or she'll run in and get a spoon. But here, spank me. Like she's, oh, she's wild she's been pushing jackson like jack still isn't walking he stands there like for like a minute holding his balance just standing there she'll walk up and just push him down she'll sit on him she takes toys away from him like she is a handball right now she's great for my mom so adri's eight weighs 61 pounds alley bug just turned three on valentine's day She's like 34 pounds, I think, 32 pounds. Right around 30 pounds. I feel like when she was at the ER, she weighed like 29 pounds, so. Maybe that was in November when she had that virus and was in the hospital for a few days. I don't know. Jax, my little tiny boy. <laughs> Adrian's tall on all legs. Allie's thick, like she's solid. She's gonna be like their protector. And then Jaxie Poo, <laughs> he turned one in April and he is 19 pounds. What was he at the neurologist's office? 19 pounds, five and a half ounces. Yep. Here in four days, he'll be 14 months old and he weighs 19 pounds. I just bought him new jammies. They're size six to nine months because like actual nine month jammies, like footed jammies, his feet get lost in them because they're a little too big. And six months fit him like just tight. There's like no room. So six to nine months is like, the perfect size right now. He's so tiny. But I love it because I just pick him up. There's nothing to him. And you just snuggle him like he's still just a teeny tiny baby. Oh, yeah. I love my kids. They're just, they're all so unique and just their own little personalities. They're so similar yet so different. They all have the most beautiful blue eyes. Adri's are like a really, really light blue. Like really light blue. Allie's are a little bit darker blue, but still light blue. And then Jax's are even a deeper shade. People always comment on here and on Facebook and in person just how cute my kids are. They're hell on wheels, but they are super cute. So thank you for telling me my kids are cute. <laughs> does anybody, does anybody not think that their own kids are cute? And 
I look at big baby pictures of myself. I can't even talk. I'm so tired. I look at baby pictures of myself. Like, man, I was not a cute baby. But like, I look at my kids, and even like, I look back when they weren't like in their cutest stage. They were still the cutest things ever. You know what I mean? They're like, does anybody look at their kids and not think they're cute? How could you ever not think your kids cute? You probably can't. Unless you're a terrible parent that doesn't deserve kids, but. <laughs> when they're crying and throwing a fit, I'll tell them, now that's not cute. But you know what I mean. I swear this is the most chewing I've done in my whole entire life. Yesterday I had a big salad like this. Not quite this big. But same ingredients. I ate it around 4 o'clock. I didn't eat anything else the rest of the day. Like it filled me up for the night. Oh, right before bed I had a fudge round. Just because my kids had gotten on my nerves. I'm like, oh my god, I just need a fudge round. good fill up on veggies I've got a whole chicken breast and an egg got lots of protein mm. the salad was totally keto friendly other than the croutons right Some people don't eat tomatoes when they're doing keto. But when I calculate them into my thing, they don't really. They've never put me over my limit. Because it's not like I'm sitting out eating a whole large tomato. Freezing! There's a vent right underneath this dining room table. So it just kind of like blows underneath and freezes you. But I have to have the table against the wall, otherwise we can't get to any of the seats. I can't put it on this wall, because then it'll block both windows. I won't be able to get to the windows. And there's a wine rack over there that has been here. Like, it's it belongs to the landlord. Um, it has, like, wine bottles and wine glasses. The wine glasses are mine, but... <coughs> 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 Drink it. Don't breathe it. Okay. I'm done. I ate that whole... This sounds like this plate is as big as this giant box of Rice Krispies. Look. <coughs> what size box is this? One pound, eight ounce. So it's a big box. My plate is the size of it. That's how much food I just ate. That's how much salad I just had. Like my one meal of the day. Probably because I'm so full right now. I need to grab a bottle of water. All right, guys. Thank you so much for having lunch with me and just hanging out while I rambled on. What a day. Comment down below. If you have kids and they have, like a, have been to the dentist and they're young, like... What age did they like going to the dentist? What age did you take them and they like flipped out? Like hopefully in six months, Allie will be better. I don't know. And Jax, he won't go for another two years. All right, I'm done rambling. Thank you for hanging out and having lunch with me. Subscribe if you like these types of videos. Just watch me eat, hang out, eat your food while you watch my video. Like we're just having lunch together. <clears throat> I need to start asking questions like like you're really sitting there. So like as you hear it, you can just type in your response. And if people that like to comment, answer every question, they'll have like they'll leave me like five comments. Like we're having a full on conversation. 
lives. I like doing lives, but then I just, I don't even, I just sit there and read everybody's comments and, and, and talk back to the comments. I don't even actually talk about what I was going to talk about. So I don't really, really do lives very often. Plus my house is always freaking chaos. I'm so tired. I can barely hold my eyes open. So I think I might just go to lay down and relax. Oh no, I need to go to Dollar Tree Hall so I can get that stuff put away. I have too much to do. I don't have time to nap. I'll just go to bed early tonight. All right, guys, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe and ring that little bell so you know when I uh, upload a video. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.